Hi, it's Lynn from Sweet Natured, and today we're taking a look at the Aqua Therapy Centre and Thermal Spa on board Queen Mary 2 and whether we thought it was worth $35 a head for two hours. As long as I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. <laughs> Well, as you said, Lynn, today we're reviewing the Aqua Therapy Centre and the Thermal Suite on Cunard's Queen Mary 2. Yes. It's located in the main Morel Spa. So you come down uh, as if you're heading into the spa normally, and the Thermal Suite is at the far end. Yeah. Now, you need to come down with a robe, we would recommend, and your swimming costume. But it does have towels down here, it does have flip flops. So you don't need to have anything else on your feet when you go through. That's right. Showers and all the usual things you would expect in the changing rooms. And it's a, you have a men's changing room and a ladies' changing room. Yeah, which you would kind of expect. Mm -hmm. there, there's some there, they have like unisex areas, like it, virgin. Yeah. But th this is sort of more traditional. Now, when we got in here, you'll notice that there's sort of ropes still over the pool. We got in here for it opening. Yes. And we had to wait about 25 minutes or so. Yeah, because uh, not everything was ready. No. Well, we couldn't get into the thermal pool. We couldn't get into the hot tub. They'd not switched the saunas on yet. Uh, the steam room was on. Yeah, it's the foot bath things. They weren't working. No. Uh, and I'll, I'll come back onto them a little bit later on. Um, obviously, they did open it up eventually. Yes. Uh, so, But uh, as you'll see, when we first got in there, there wasn't a lot we could do. But it was a good time to be able to do a tour. Well, that's true. <laughs> the therapy pool, I have to say it, is fantastic but it's very powerful and deep i want to say it's fantastic for you as a tall person yeah i could not put my feet on the bottom and keep my head above the water no i think it's five foot deep isn't it i i i think it, it i remember was, seeing a sign for it it was within there. really really In fact, deep. yeah it was just above there it just said five foot pool depth uh there yeah, but I never noticed that when I lowered myself into the water. No, you got a bit of a shock when you went down and you just kept going down. Normally those sort of pools are not as no, deep. No, or as powerful. It, there was almost like a current effect in there. It was, yeah. I mean, you mentioned about the foot one earlier. This is the reflexology basins. Yes. Um, only one of them ended up working, so one of them was broken as well. So we both couldn't go in them at the same time, which was a shame. But just coming back to the pool bit, yeah, they'd kind of turned the jets up to eleven. Yeah, I feel like that. I don't know if they're always that strong. You know, let us know in the comments if you've been there and it was just as strong. But it felt like you were trying to swim against a current in one of those swimming yeah. pools. Didn't it, it wasn't. It wasn't a, a relaxing hydrotherapy pool. The water temperature was gorgeous. Well, just while we're waiting for them to get it ready for you, would you like to invite people to subscribe? Um, yes, it would be lovely if you could please subscribe. Thank you, as always, if you already have done. And, of course, you can follow along on all the usual social media, and we do have our own Facebook group. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more, then click the Join button and have a look and see if that's for you. Thank you. On with the tour. Yes. So this bit that we're looking in now is their sauna area. This bit in the middle was meant to be automated, so it drops water through and you get an aromatherapy smell within there as well. Yeah, that didn't work. But I like the little... <laughs> but the sauna itself, I Yeah, I like the little alcoves. Um, it was very hot. It was. Which you would expect from... Yeah, but to sit on it was hot. It had a feel to me more of like a Turkish bath type yes. sauna. Yes. It wasn't a finished sauna. <laughs> I am not impressed that that pool is not <laughs> open. <laughs> this is you still standing there after about oh. 15 minutes. But as I said, the steam room wa was good to go. Um, I, I don't know why I insist on showing you round a steam room when we do these spa reviews because either. you normally see about this. You can see a little bit of a shape. Again, inside this, it was very themed like the sauna one. Yes. Um, eh, nice, stylish, yeah, yeah. very warm. Couldn't see a lot. <laughs> but you get back to seeing what I can see now as well. Uh, and then it had a more traditional Finnish sauna. With the wood. With with the wood that sort of um, people have become a lot more accustomed to. Yes. And it was nice, but at the time that I went into this, they'd only switched it on about two minutes before. Yeah. So it did get warmer later on. It was it, 
And yeah. it was very dark in there as well. It was perfect temperature for me. <laughs> you, you were like, oh, I'm good in here now. This yeah. is fine. Yeah. It, it was sort of air temperature. But the pool itself, just going back to, I do think people need to be very aware of it if they're not sort of in the high five foot, sort of five foot seven, yeah. five foot eight. So you're five foot four. And, and a smidgen. Five foot four and a smidgen. And as I say, it were, you were struggling a little, a little bit with it, weren't you? Apart from that middle bit that was raised, where you can see the bubbles coming around in but the circle. But get into that bit with the bubbles raised. You basically had to lasso me into the centre. I did, yeah, because you were just kind of going round in a circle. <laughs> round and round. <laughs> and grab you it was like hook sort of a pull duck. you in there. <laughs> it was quite amusing. I know, but it's not relaxing in that sense. It, I mean, you'll see your face now. This is where you're getting in for the first time. And as you said, the water temperature was perfect, wasn't it? Yes. And you're going, oh, that, that's perfect there, followed by, oh, this is a lot deeper than I thought. <laughs> I had to... I'm swimming there. I'm, you've got to be able to swim. You do, yeah. Which is definitely recommended your for this one. Your mum could not use this pool. No. Well, she can't swim, can she? No, but she couldn't... That would be the you end You would of struggle it. in this one if you couldn't swim a little bit, I think. Um, and if if you're tall, it's not a problem. No. The jets and everything else are lovely, but there was quite a lot in here that was not working. Oh, was, tired. That were looking a bit run down. Now, to be clear, at the point that we filmed this, it was going into dry dock. Yes. About a month or so later. Yeah. And at the time we recorded it, it's actually in dry dock. Yes. I would hope that they give this area, the TLC that it needs. And she's got all sparkly now and lovely. Yeah, because there were tiles coming off it, there were quite a lot of the equipment that was broken. Mm -hmm. And when you go into these sort of areas and you're paying $35 each for two hours... And you're on a luxury liner. Yeah, then you want it to feel luxurious. And it just felt a bit run down. Yeah, a bit tired. Yeah. It also had this little other hidden steam round round the corner that I think they occasionally use for Razul as well. Oh, nice. But anyone could go into it, and for whatever reason, the Jets won when I went in there. Um, but it was that sort of steam room effect, and you can see it's yeah, it looks starting very... to warm up in there. Yeah, Razul. I don't think you it. went into there, did no, you? No, I didn't. Um, I think you were trapped in the pool. In the pool. <laughs> I couldn't get out. We mentioned about the... Um, reflexology basins earlier they weren't working well one of them wasn't the overhead rainfall and the lights weren't working there were lights falling out of the ceiling yeah. so as you can see not necessarily what you would expect for this type of ship yeah uh, i wouldn't expect it on any type of ship to be honest no but i'm sure once it's been in for the refresh uh, it, it will be a lot better. I'd rather go in a spa with a pool than a slick spa without a pool. Th this is true. <laughs> but as it was at the time that it went in, oh. because it needed some TLC, we've just given it five That's out of ten. That's a low one. Well, thank you, darling. And end of another video. Oh, cheers. cheers thank you for watching and have a lovely day.